Hello, Facebook. Um, do me a favor. If you can um, see me, I do hashtag hi mama seven in the comments so I know you can see me. If you can hear me good, um, send me some rapid fire hearts. If you see a live in the upper hand, left hand corner, that means I am live. That means you can talk back and forth with me and hopefully I'll see your comments and answer your questions. If you don't see that, it means you're watching the replay. Go ahead and do hashtag replay. If you have never seen my face before, my name is Vicki Verstraight, and I run a mission-based company through Unique. And you may be wondering, what does that mean, mission-based company? It means that my top priority is having an impact on my community and the surrounding areas by um, the profit of my business. So um, what that means, I pretty much um, give a portion of my commission to those in need who are around me. Speaking of commission, uh, if you've watched me before, you know that I am currently doing a fundraiser for my friend Jenna. She's been a huge supporter of my business, and I thought, you know what, she's been supporting me for a couple of years now. Um, it's time for my business to support her. So she had a stroke last week, Tuesday. She's currently in the hospital, and she has to reset her brain, and her brain is learning to do everything, like a brand new baby, learning how to do everything from scratch. Um, she is progressing rather nicely, um, but, um, you know, she's in the hospital, so I know that her family needs income and whatnot. So I thought, you know what, let's have my business support her for once. So today we're going to do, uh, Jenna's favorite things. Um, and of course, whenever I say, I was thinking of this in my head and I kept singing, these are a few of my favorite things. Okay. So that's my singing for today. So, um, Jenna loves addiction palette three <laughs> for a minute there I thought it said two I'm like oh no I grabbed the wrong one three and it is a palette full of purples and pinks and it's really really beautiful and looks great on any um, skin tone and eye color sometimes I like to do a really subtle eye with just the pink and this sparkly gold here and sometimes I like to do a smoky eye using this black and some of the purples um, today I think I'm just going to kind of go in between use a little purples use some of these light colors I'll show you what I'm doing um, yeah, <laughs> um, I, there's nothing really more to report other than that. Uh, let's see, I'm going to grab my fluffy crease brush. This is fairly new eh, within a couple of months. And I love this guy, um, because it really gets right in your crease really, really nicely. And because I have deep set eyes, I tend to go a little bit higher than my crease just to, um, try to disguise that really big brow bone that I've got going on there. Can't stand that. So, all right. Can you guys see me okay or do I need to turn on more light? Tell me what you think. So I know Jenna always loved these purples. <laughs> I want to say it was probably a year ago. I was wearing this almost every Sunday to church and she, um, she was always like, I need that palette. I need that palette. I need that palette. And finally she bought it and I know she loves it. So I'm going to start with Flippant, and Flippant is kind of a, um, it's kind of a lighter purple, and it's got some shimmer to it. And I'm going to put that in my crease, and I'm just going to, hang on, I need to look in my mirror because I'm having a hard time seeing it in my phone here. Can you guys see the colors okay? Looking beautiful this morning, Vicki. Thank you, Nancy. It's because I showered. <laughs> Oh my goodness, with this morning sickness, it has been a struggle to even like wash my hair. And today I was feeling really good and um, I was like, I'm gonna wash my hair, I'm gonna go live. So today is a good day. Can you see the colors okay or do I need to add more light? Let me know. Because right now I don't have any artificial light on me. It's all the natural light from my window. Let me know what you think. So that's all I'm doing. It's just a nice, gentle, light purple in that crease. If you wanted to go darker, you could and make more of a smoky eye. But because all I'm doing is taking Henry to speech today, um, I don't think a smoky eye is really that necessary. So one thing I love about Jenna, I would come to church every week. And she would say, okay, what palette are you wearing today? Um, what blush do you have on? Oh, I like that lipstick. She was always about the lipstick. She always wanted, um, she always wanted to splurge on a lipstick. And so I was trying, I was going through our conversations, trying to figure out which one was her favorite to show you guys today. Um, and it was actually kind of hard to choose <laughs> just one. 
So we are really, really praying for Jenna and her family. Um, you know, it's just so hard, like when things like this happen, completely unexpected. I saw her on Mother's Day and she was fine and happy and um, smiling. One thing about Jenna is she is always smiling. Um, even pictures in the hospital, I'm going to cry. I'm trying not to cry. She's smiling. And that's one thing um, that always draws me to her is we walk into church and she's always standing at the um, greeting desk um, for the kids where we check in with this big smile on her face. And I'm like, gosh, I would love to be happy like that all the time. She's um, She is someone that people love being around. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of this cheeky. It's a little bit of a darker shade than Flippant. And I'm just going to put it right here in this, like a C, just to kind of add some definition. I'm using my more blunt crease brush. I feel like I can be more accurate when I use this than the fluffy one. So yeah, let me know if you think I need more light on my eyes. So we are doing this fundraiser for her. Um, I know the church is doing a fundraiser. Um, there's a GoFundMe for her. I mean, this is how much she's impacted people. Everybody wants to do, do something for her. And so my unique fundraiser, I am just giving a hundred percent of my commission to her from this. So if you want to contribute, you can just go to VixBeauty.com, trade something in, um, you know, something in your makeup bag, try something unique, click on, it'll say, do you want to add this to a party? Just click on the fight for Jenna fundraiser and everything that I make from that party will go directly to her family to use however they see fit. See how I darkened up that corner just a smidge? Now I'm gonna take, this is a, woo, there we go. This is a um a blending brush. I use this clean and I just kind of blend inward because you don't wanna see where colors start and stop. You want it all to be blended, uh, pretty. Mm -hmm. Let me know if I need more light. And for those of you who have already contributed, I am completely blown away. Like the people that don't even know Jenna are contributing to this fundraiser. And it just really, the generosity is blowing my mind. It is absolutely amazing. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> there. So that you just want to blend that in. Now, I always want to do a lighter, brighter color on my lids. Because when you do darker colors in towards the corner of your eye, it makes your eye look smaller. Um, in my makeup classes, I learned that youth is seen in big eyes. So you want your eyes to look big. You don't want to make them look small. So you just pick a big, bright color. I'm going to use Smitten. It's almost, it's, it's like a sparkly taupe. And I'm going to do my lid with it just to brighten up that eye area and make my eyes appear bigger. Let me actually turn my light on. Because I feel like you can't see as well. <laughs> Tell me if that light is any better. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna continue brightening up this corner of my eye. Hi, Catherine. Just to see, how, see the difference between the eyes, how I brighten this up. And I love brightening up right here in the center of my eyelid. It just adds a lot of, a lot of light to your eyes. Thank you. I've got Gracie homesick today. She probably, um, she probably could have went to school today. She, uh, Saturday night, she was up throwing up, oh my gosh, every 20 minutes Saturday night. Um, through the entire night, it was a disaster. And, um, finally at 5 a.m., I was like, oh my gosh, I think we have some leftover Zofran. So I gave her some Zofran. She was able to stop throwing up, but she was just miserable all day yesterday. And then last night, she, um... She uh, went to sleep. I'm just going to do some blending again just to make sure this is all blended together. She went to sleep and then she woke up around midnight just screaming and writhing in pain. And my mama, like, mama instinct, I was like, something's wrong. This is, this is something more than just a virus. And so I was like pushing on her belly thinking, oh my gosh, is it appendix? Um, 
and whatnot. I got her to calm down. She went back to sleep. She's fine this morning. So I'm not sure what was going on, but I'm definitely going to keep an eye on that. So anyway, that's all you need to do for your eyeshadow. It's very, very simple. Um, you can impress people thinking that you spent hours on it and really you didn't. Um, so I'm going to use pencil eyeliner um, in black and I'm just going to go underneath my eyelashes um, to create kind of a dark base for my mascara. So this is for people who really don't like heavy eyeliner on the top of their lid or they're not comfortable. Um, if you're not comfortable putting on eyeliner or liquid eyeliner, the pencil in the waterline is the way to go. Just be really careful because a lot of times um, you poke yourself in the eye with this and that's not what you want to do. So just be careful. So I can't talk while I'm doing this. Hi, Tom. I see you're watching. If Jenna's there. Hi, Jenna. Um, we love you. And um, can't wait to hug you. And I'm not going to say anymore because I don't want to cry. Okay. So this is the waterline. I have to look in the mirror. Whew, hang on. I got to get my eyes to stop tearing now. Dang. <laughs> okay. Ah, so just underneath the lashes. Sorry for the awkward silence. I cannot talk while I'm doing that, otherwise, I'll lose an eye. See how it just adds a little something um, to the base of my eyelashes where you don't need heavy eyeliner? If you want, go ahead and do the bottom too. <laughs> See that? Easy peasy if you don't poke yourself in the eye. Alrighty, hang on. She's watching and says hi and thank you for loving her. Oh my gosh. Well, it's like so easy, Jenna. I probably shouldn't have read that because oh, Jenna, I miss you so much. <laughs> it sucks. Like I didn't go to church on Sunday because I had a sick kid yesterday, but I was like, I don't know that I can go to church and not see Jenna there. Like I was, it's not all about me, but, um, I was actually worried about how I would handle not seeing you. Okay, stop. I got to put mascara on. Hang on. <sighs> okay, so um, Jenna normally likes our Epic Mascara, which is no fiber, one step. However, we got this brand new 4D and um, she wanted to see it. Ooh, where am I? She wanted to see it in person. Um... And unfortunately, she um, had her stroke before she got to see it in person. But um, she needs a refill on her kid. <laughs> okay, so Jenna, um, your, your um, fundraiser that I'm doing um, is also giving you Y cash. Pull it together. <laughs> is also giving you Y cash. Um, so have Tom log into your account and it'll activate your party and so i think you might be up to like 20 30 dollars in y cash so you can get that free okay um i wanted to tell you that but didn't want to bother you okay <laughs> pull it together tom <laughs> okay so this is our 4d mascara it's a little different it has um it has fibers infused in it don't get it confused with our 3d Fiber mascara, that's gone, that's retired. This is new stuff, this is one step. So what you wanna do is you want to, they're interlocking fibers, so you want to pretty much, I've always wanted to shop for makeup. Yeah, I know you, I know. Tom, maybe you'll let me do your makeup. Um, And see how I'm rolling it? That allows the interlocking fibers to uh, interlock and connect to your lashes so you don't have any fallout so Jenna this is how awesome this mascara is and I think I should get you one just to try how's your how's your um fine motor skills um is that I don't know if that's something like a skill that you lost are you able to do fine motor skills because if not I can come and poke you in the eye with mascara as easily as you can I can put it on you <laughs> 
I had someone this morning um, message me if I could do their makeup for a wedding. I'm going to be camping that weekend, so I can't. But I was like, I can't do someone else's mascara because I'm going to poke them in the eye. But yeah, this is the 4D. It's quite incredible how it transforms your lashes from nothing to like falsies. Hey, love, watching silently from work. Oh, hi, Jen. I should, oh, she said silently from work and I'm talking to her. Hi, Jen. <laughs> so anyway, yep, yeah, this is the 4D, Jenna. Love it. Hang on, I got a little bit of schmutz. Is that like hanging from... It was hanging from a lash. Okay, let's do the other side. Oh, and I'm almost done. <laughs> so, this is another thing I can't really talk. Can you tell that I'm rolling? Before, after. Neither are great. What are you talking about? Before, after what? Oh, oh, uh, her fine motor skills. All right, well, I can come poke you in the eye and do your makeup for you. Ooh, you know how fun that would be? I could totally do that. Well, you live kind of far from me. But I could. when you're ready to come back from, uh, to church, I can come do your makeup. Let's plan on that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I can't say enough good things about fine motor skills. Yeah, I can't say enough good things about Jenna. God, I love her. And you know what? I almost feel a little guilty because I don't think I've ever told her how awesome she is before. Um, before this. And I'm like, you know what? You really need to start telling people like how you feel about them. Because you never know. Tomorrow is never promised. And I'm so happy that I had another chance to tell you, Jenna. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's stop talking about this because when my eyes get green, it means that I am um, holding back tears. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Okay. Mascara is good enough for now. Um, that's the 4D. And okay, so Jenna loves lipstick. And I picked out, she bought, um, it's Sublime. It's just like a nude-ish color. Um, and I'm going to line. I'm not going to do that. Hang on. I was going to line with brown and I decided not to. So I'm going to line with, this is called Pouty is kind of a pinkish color. I think if I did brown, it would look too um, dead. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Mm -hmm. Goodness, I need some chapstick. This like won't even, it's struggling writing on my lip. Because my lips are so dry. You know what's a problem when the weather is so crappy in May that your lips are still dry? And your hands are still crack cracking. You can see that? Okay. So I just lined a little bit and then I'm going to fill in. This is Sublime. This is like a nude color. This is our liquid, our liquid lipstick. And so it goes on it like a lip gloss. See with the wand? But um, it's matte, so it's like a lipstick, and it's long-wearing. I love it. Hang on. i got to swipe the comments. I can't see my face. Whoops. There we go. And I have a blotchy face because I can't stop crying. Okay. So that is it. Those are a couple of Jenna's favorite things. If you want to contribute to her fundraiser, there's a link in the description. Go ahead, click on that. Um, go, and when you order, 100% of my commission is going to the family. And um, yeah, have a wonderful Monday. I hope to see you in a couple days. Bye.